Where else to begin other than the biggest shock of the tournament so far. Holders Algeria have crashed out of the competition after losing 3-1 to the Ivory Coast. The Desert Foxes needed a win to have, to have stood any chance of qualifying for the last 16 after a draw and a loss in their first two games. But those slim hopes looked dead in the water as the Elephants went 3-0 ahead after 54 minutes before Manchester City's Red Maras hits a, a penalty against the post. Jamal Balmadi side did get a late consolation in the 71st, 73rd minute, their only goal of the tournament. For more, let's cross to sports editor Simon Harding, who was following that game in Limbe. Simon, a humiliating end to, and to a disappointing campaign for Algeria, who finished in last place in Group E with just one point. Cataclysmic, humiliating, surprising, stunning. Uh, the... Uh, uh, adjectives go on and on and on, Selena. What is for certain is that this Algeria side underperform massively in this tournament. As you mentioned, they finished bottom with just one point, just one goal scored in three matches for a team that was uh, ahead of the tournament, the out-and-out -out favourite to retain the title here in Cameroon. It was a strange formation put out by Jamel Belmadi, who opted for a 4-2-4 all-out attack. Now, as you mentioned, Algeria did have have to win the game but uh, by doing so and by opting for this formation then Belmadi surrendered the midfield to the Ivory Coast and that is simply where Algeria lost the ball in the first half the ball uh, never reached the strikers the attackers uh, in the correct uh, position and as soon as the central midfielders opted to press then all Ivory Coast had to do was knock the ball back and then knock it forwards and uh, and Algeria were undone that's how Kessier's uh, goal came about uh, Sangare's header at the back post, uh, inexplicable lack of marking uh, by the Algerian centre-backs. Uh, there were changes at half-time, but it was just more of the same after the break. Lack of creativity, so slow throughout the game. Pepe with a trademark finish, curling the ball beautifully into the bottom uh, corner to make it three. Mares to embody, really, the Algerian failure, missing a penalty and then of course that consolation goal uh, which uh, did nothing really uh, to appease Algeria and the Algerian fans who were shell-shocked uh, here at the Japoma Stadium in uh, Douala and we had an opportunity to speak to Aisa Mandi uh, after the match who said that now wasn't the time uh, to examine things but instead to take time and take stock of what had happened. We're not going to analyse things now. We'll go over everything calmly afterwards. It's not worth doing right now. Sometimes you can say something stupid or be in the wrong. Later, we will see what went wrong and correct it. We'll be back, God willing. There's no problem. We'll work really hard. So history does repeat itself for Algeria, Selina, because in 1990 they won the Africa Cup of Nations and then two years later in Senegal they exited at the group stages once again with the Ivory Coast in their group and once again losing by a three-goal margin to the Ivory Coast. Indeed, Simon. Uh, I'll be the